What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Marasan Gigan Gigan 50th Anniversary Godzilla Store Exclusive Purple Sparkle Glitter Version. That's right, my Zillan. Check out this classic card with classic art of Godzilla, Ghidorah, Baragon, more Godzilla. That is cool, and uh, I'm gonna cut that off. But I'm gonna keep that card because it's really cool. Um, this is a commemorative Marasan piece in purple, glitter, sparkle color. Something I really wanted to get, something that they showed off on one of their live streams at Godzilla Store. And uh, I was like, you know what? I, I need to have something special to commemorate Gigan. Uh, and uh, this just felt like a good thing to get. Yes, there's gonna be other stuff. Uh, and yes, I don't normally get this type of Sufubi, but I don't know. Something about the classic Gigan has always done it for me, and uh, I just like how this particular one looked, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've always known that this mold was really, really cool, and to have it like this sounded like a good deal to me. And there you go, that's really all I have to say. I'm gonna get this guy out of the bag. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here's this beautiful guy again out of the package. And first off, let's look at some articulation. The head does move somewhat. The shoulders, the arms move at the shoulders. You get movement at the legs. And then you get movement at the tail, rotation at the tail. So you, you really get pretty much six points of articulation, which is nice. Take a look at this thing in full. Man, this is pretty gorgeous. Really, really dig it. First up, the sculpt looks phenomenal. This is such a great representation of Gigan in sculpt form. Man, I just really, really, really like it. It's a perfect vinyl representation of Gigan, in my opinion, sculpt-wise. It, it looks the part very nice, but I mean, the thing we're here for is, you know, this awesome paint job. First up, you do have silver and gold right up the center. His blade, he, blades here on the, uh, his rotary blades, whatever they're called, um, look great. Really nicely sculpted. Very nicely painted. I like that you see some of the um, glitter going upwards. Then you got all the gold here, which looks fantastic. I always thought it was interesting how, you know, this all looked very King Ghidorah-like. And if there was ever a, um, you know, connection there. You know, was there a, a Ghidorah involved in the creation of Gigan? You know, something I just never really... Folks never really talk about too much, but it's something I've always thought about. Anywho, uh, on the back here, you get mostly gold paint. And then you can see, you know, it kind of bleeds downwards and then it becomes nothing. And you see the glittery um, dorsal fins here. But you can see them throughout, glowing through some of that gold. And that is awesome. The rest of the tail looks fantastic. It is very smooth. Otherwise, you know, you do get the texture up on over here. But very smooth tail. I like it. You see all that amazing, amazing glitter. Very, very colorful. You do have that purple plastic base, which is nice, a translucent purple plastic base, and I like that a lot. The sculpt here, again, looks great. Do dig it. As far as the feet, you have silver here, which looks really nice on the top of the feet. Um, nice shape going upwards here. Again, good shape. Good sculpt, whatever you want to say. Uh, it looks really nice. And man, <laughs> that glitter is just so, so good. You get the same thing going on with the arms. You do have uh, the silver paint sprayed on the blade, which is great. But you can see how it blends right into the um, glittery purple and I love it. I love it. It is, you know, just a nice piece of art. 
You know what I'm saying? It has worked so flawlessly, in my opinion. Just very well done. You can tell Marusan has been doing this a long time. They know what they're doing. Uh, really, really great. I love these uh, wing fins. Really nicely um, sculpted. And I like how the gold paint comes up from here. Bleeds nicely, gradiates into the nice purple plastic that is translucent. There you see my fingers through. And um, beautifully glittered. Very well done. I like how they look from this side. You can see this is all textured in the middle. You got that same shape going on, which is great, but it's less painted there, although you do see some. It's very lightly done, and that is superb. I love that. The back of the neck looks great. You still get a little more dorsal fins there, uh, horns or whatever you want to call them, and that gold again, and that sculpt work right there looks really good. Going up to the head. You do get like the hints of the gold, and that is great. The top horn here is totally, you know, just a translucent purple with the glitter, and that looks phenomenal. And then, of course, the head sculpt is super, super cool. You got the orange visor there that looks phenomenal. You got the silver here on these mandibles and then on the beak is silver silver in the mouth you can see the tongue sculpted you see those teeth on the side sculpted all of that looks great the visor looks great the jewel here is done in kind of a magenta i like it a lot it really stands out it's very amongst all that um glitter it actually does stand out because it's done in a little bit bigger it looks really good guys i really like this a lot proportions are great man there is nothing bad to say about this this is the perfect way to celebrate gigan's 50th anniversary um i'm glad i was able to get one of these because uh I, it's just it's just perfect it really is congratulations gigan you've made it 50 years and for your size comparison, here's Gigan with a bunch of other Safubi figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this thing is so beautiful, I really love it. Finally, glad to have a piece of this mold in the collection. I've always admired it, and uh, this color scheme is just awesome. Purple Sparkle, man, so cool. Um, what a great way to celebrate Gigan's 50th anniversary. Uh, to me, you know, I, I gotta say, uh, getting this feels better than, you know, waiting on a Monster Arts that's probably not even gonna come out till next year. Uh, I fully think there's gonna be one, but yeah, you're probably not getting it for a while. Um, and this thing is just, it's just awesome. It really is. Yes, it was a little pricey. Yes, I had to ship it uh, from Japan, um, but well worth it in my opinion uh, i feel like i got what i paid for and i'm very happy about that and there you go guys that's my review hope you dug it let me know your thoughts down below and if you please like comment subscribe and share check me out on facebook and instagram stay safe till next time peace out peeps